Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've just jumped on here quickly because I'm going to do a video. It's something a question that I get asked so much, um, and there seems to be a lot of confusion around it. So I've just took a few wee notes and I'm going to jump in and give a little bit of advice about this topic. So the topic is about uh, therapy. You know, what type of therapy should you go for? What um, do you need therapy? And uh, there's so many different types of therapies out there and it seems to cause a lot of confusion. So what I will say is that, um, so therapy depends on, you know, a lot of different things. Um, there's a lot of different types of therapies out there like CBT, talking therapies, um, there is also more gentler therapies like art therapies, somatic therapies, exercises, mindfulness practices. There's a million and different ones. And every single therapy will tell you and argue that their therapy is the best. And it can be a minefield to go through if you're looking for help and trying to decide you know, which type of therapy to go for. But what I will say in my experience the most important thing if you are deciding to go to therapy is the therapist and your relationship with the therapist because it doesn't matter what type of therapy you decide to go for you need to have a good relationship with that person so a relationship will be that you feel safe you feel like you can open up, talk about those deeper emotions, things that are troubling you, and you're not feeling uncomfortable in that space. And hands down, that is the most important thing. Now, sometimes therapy like a talking therapy, it might not be the best thing because sometimes what can happen if your emotions are very raw still or it's a big thing like a trauma, trauma the therapy can actually trigger you and it can be too overwhelming. So you need to think about that as well. You need to think about how your emotional state is at that time. Because sometimes what can be more beneficial is that you go for a lighter type of therapy, like maybe support groups, something like art therapy, where there's, where there's group sessions so that you're not feeling as vulnerable and it gives you a chance to just settle down a little bit and feel a little bit better. You can take your time, you can stop if you want to. It's very gentle. And then, as you sort of get more and more used to it, then you can think about then going to the, the big P, as they say, the big therapist. So just be mindful of that as well. It's another thing to take into consideration. Now, the, the most important things, don't worry about the therapist credential. I mean, just throw that out the window for a start because as I said earlier in the video, it won't matter their credentials. There is a million and one therapists out there. And the most important thing is your relationship. So what I would suggest is most therapists, most sessions will always give you a three hour service, like a trial. Majority of them do do this. And what I would advise you to do is if you're unsure, go to a few of these trial sessions, go to as many as you want and see how you like that type of therapy. Go to different techniques, different styles of therapy and see if you like that sort of technique. If you engage with that individual and how that relationship is going and do as many of them as you want because it will give you a better idea of how you feel with that person and how you feel about that type of therapy without having to commit, you know. So that's another good thing you can do. Uh, 
um, so if you do go to these sessions, these pre-sessions, the thing that you want to be looking at is how do you feel with this individual? Do you feel safe? Are they non-judgmental? Do they seem confident in what they're talking about? Are they confident when they're talking to you? And another thing that's very important is that they're not pushing their belief or their structures about how they would do something onto you. Because therapy should be about your way of dealing with things and a good therapist will start to understand you how you process things in the safest way for you to process them and they will guide you along that direction. They won't try they won't judge you. They won't um, try to push how they would do something onto you. So and and feel when you're in that space how comfortable you feel, how safe you feel. Pay it, it's very important to be mindful of all of those things before you decide. And do that in every every one of these trial sessions that you go and go to. But also when you go to the trial session, it'll also tell you a lot about whether you feel ready. You'll feel how raw it is, how it's reacting with you, and whether you want to maybe do something a bit more gentler first to get yourself ready and prepared, then to going on to a therapist. And sometimes actually what can happen is you go to these support groups or these mindfulness groups and you find that you love it and it's helping you and you might just end up just staying there. That might be all you need. So take that into consideration as well. Now, I would also suggest that look for a therapist that specialises in certain areas. This is a good tip. So you get a lot of therapists out there who just generalise. You know, and they might have good knowledge about this, this and this. But if you go to someone who specialises, they're going to have a very in-depth knowledge of that subject. They're going to be dealing with people who, on a daily basis, an hourly basis, and it's all going to be that subject. And they're going to have tons and tons of experience. And that's a good thing. So whatever type of um, issue it is you're having, whether it's to do with couples, you have couples therapy, you have anxiety therapists special in that, you have trauma specialists, you have depression specialists, you might have certain mental health, like addiction specialists. So look at the specialisms and the more refined their specialisms are, then they're going to have tons and tons of extensive knowledge and have dealt with a huge amount of people in that area. And the more experience they have, the more beneficial it will be for you. So, um, so the other thing I would say is what I kind of touched on before. Just make sure that you're ready. And these little pre-sessions can also give you an insight into your own, you know, inner health. And whether you feel you're ready to be asked hard questions, because you will be asked tough questions. And um, whether you decide you want to go down that more gentler route or you want to continue on. Um, so, all I would say, I think that's probably really it. Um, I would just say, if you need it and you feel you need it and you could do with it, go for it. But I would also say that sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes it can be those, these little groups, these little um, support groups. You'll find specialist groups in your areas. If you look on the internet in your area, you'll find tons of support groups out there. Wide range of subjects and sometimes that might be just all you need. You know, but the better the therapist knows their stuff, the more experience they've had in dealing with a particular issue, the better it's going to be for you because they're going to bring a whole wide range of experience to you and that's what you want and also make sure you feel that your relationship is going to be good it's going to be rock solid and you feel like you can open up to that person and that you're safe and 
and um, that that's probably one of the best things you know because the better relationship you have with a therapist the better the therapist can work for you and that's what you want and the better the outcome will be so I hope that helps those people out there who are asking me a million and one questions about therapy and take care and I'll see you all soon ta-ta